Hi everyone and welcome to day 39 of what on earth am I here for? And yesterday and the days before, we've already answered what we're here for. We're here to love God with all our heart. We're here to love our neighbors as much as ourselves in real and concrete actions. We're here to make disciples and bring them together with us. And we're also here to strengthen and uplift each other, to teach each other maturity so that we can all be together as God's kingdom on earth. But today, we're going to be talking about balancing your life. In Ephesians 5.15, Pastor Rick's translation says, Live life with a due sense of responsibility, not as those who do not know the meaning of life, but as those who do. And you do. Life has never been more rich and more filled with possibilities than when you know your purpose. You can go forth courageously because God Almighty is strengthening you. And you know that as your heart guides you and the Holy Spirit has approved the path that you prayed for before, you know that this path is guaranteed victory with God. And your commission is assured. Your joy is assured. So be brave and do the holy work that you're called to do. Other things you can do and must maintain is to always talk with your spiritual partner or small group. This is good because spiritual people strengthen each other and between the righteous, there's always goodwill. You can always encourage each other and give each other strength. Also, you have to give yourself regular checkups. Are you living according to God's purpose? And in that way, if you can say yes, am I acting the way God would be proud of? If you can say yes, then you're still on the right track. Am I, in my heart, devoted to God? If you can stay, say yes, then you're still on the right track. And with all those three, yes, yes, and yes, you can enthusiastically rejoice in whatever circumstance you find yourself in. Another thing that I would like to recommend is to write down your progress in a journal. For me... Sometimes I I would want to have like a a writing of letters to my children because these the things that you want to teach your children are the best things that you've learned in life because you want them not to make the same mistakes as you and you want them to be able to have better choices and be guided accordingly. So when you write your journal, think of it like letters to your children. What did you learn? And be honest about it, right? So that they can truly see and learn the things that you're already learning. And in that way, if they do one day read it, they'll be saved a lot of trouble. So I think also, yeah, wisdom also says this. He, he calls my son and gives advice. But sometimes when you're writing your journal and you're lost, eventually it will all make sense and your being lost will actually strengthen other people who are lost also because they would know that even if they are lost, it's not going to last. And even if they are lost, um, God is still there. In the middle of a painful experience... Uh, The psalmist also wrote, Write down for the coming generations what the Lord has done, so that people not yet born will praise Him. That's what I'm also doing. Because um, what I've told you is just a little bit of what's happening now. But the intelligence of the Lord and the grandeur of His love is so amazing that it will literally take your breath away. But if you follow me on YouTube, and I love ya, and if you follow this ministry, I hope to share it all. But of course, there's limited time, and 
um, we have to focus on what's important first, right? So we have to write down everything that you yourself would learn for yourself and for others. Also because you might forget and reading it will help you remember. If you pass on what you know to others, not just what you know, but if you pass on God's love to others, that's also a great gift. Remember God said that anyone who gives kindness to the poor lends to the Lord. And lends means you lend, but it has an interest, (laughs) usually. So Proverbs also says, the one who blesses others is abundantly blessed. Those who help others are helped. So um, that's why I put up a foundation because I want to be able to give people, especially in the Philippines because they are so very poor and the purchasing power is so small, minimum wage is so low that even if they work very hard and honestly, they still can't make ends meet. So I want to give love in real and concrete terms and we do this by getting donations from companies and then they get it back in taxes and tax rebates so it's not heavy for them it's literally almost like uh, free and half of this we give to the the volunteers of our nonprofit organizations because i was a volunteer before and Sometimes it's a lot like you're supporting yourself to be able to give to others. But what if a lot of people have the heart to give, but they don't have the means to give? So that's what we do. We we help incentivize volunteers by giving them the discounts to the companies, which means that they would be able to afford things that they can't. Maybe a cup of coffee, maybe extra food, maybe medicine, maybe essentials, maybe non-essentials. But at least we help them uplift their life a little for their helping others. And also, we focus in our ministry on defeating ignorance. So it's two things, defeat ignorance and poverty. The poverty is helped by the discounts and donations and the ignorance is helped by our maximum intelligence learning system and we teach teachers in public schools how to create a cognitive toolbox for for their students for their students to know the easiest ways to learn the easiest ways to memorize the easiest ways to make decisions to set goals and to have an entrepreneurial and leadership mindset. And you'd be surprised because a lot of the performance is affected by their identity. And that's why we also focus on building up the core identity of the child as capable, good, and intelligent. So as you know, genius is a learned response or or it is created by habits and a way of thinking which is what we teach in maximum intelligence so all of these things you can do at the same time i mean because um we are we are multifaceted we have so much time on our hands that's why we have to work and run the race because that is what life is about and the more we give the more we reach fulfillment and blessings um it says in the bible that pastor rick quoted anyone who knows the right thing to do but does not do it is sinning um for me in particular ezekiel also for ezekiel it was imposed that um you have to if i if god tells me something and i don't tell them and they die in their sin it's my fault (laughs) So that's pretty harsh and it's sort of fair. So I have to try my very best to let people hear the word of God. And I'm asking you for your help. Honestly, my circle of influence is not great. But you can help me by sharing my testimonial and by sharing the word of the Lord. But not just that, sharing the ultimate imperative that time is running out and that we must 
very soon if not now if not next week if not this month but soon we have to return to the promised land to claim uh, the promises of god so jesus at the end of his life says i have brought you father glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do and jesus did an amazing job he showed people god's love he taught other people to love each other he taught his disciples and each other to serve one another and to include one another and then he sent them out to tell others of god's love for them so jesus modeled the perfect purpose-driven life and that is our model and that is also our work so god wants us to introduce people to christ and i hope you can also pass this on i mean the, these videos and these um, recordings are easily passed to anybody anyone who's willing to learn about god to know more about him to know about their purpose in life would welcome this and you would actually be doing them a great favor by transforming their life into goodness and by saving their souls we have to save as many souls as we can so blessed are you for your mission blessed are the balanced pastor rick says live life with a due sense of responsibility not as not as those who do not know the meaning of life but as those who do ephesians 5 15 and now that we do isn't it freedom so god bless you and i pray that you would pass on the series or some of the testimonials the testimonial that you liked or anything pass on the word of the lord God bless you, and I love you.